It's the last week of April out in the Virginia Piedmont and we're looking at some Chinese privet seedlings. You can tell these are young seedlings with this vibrant shade of green. Chinese privet, if you remember, has leaves that are densely situated along the stem and they're in opposite pairs, so one right across from the other. And we're right alongside a road where it's dry ground, but very loose soil. And you can actually reach right down when it's this tiny, you see the woody stem right there? You can reach right down to the base and you can pull that right out. There's the root right there. That's a Chinese privet seedling. Here's another tiny Chinese privet seedling. We're gonna pull this up, reach down right to the base. Pull it right up. Remember when you pull things too thin in the soil to minimize the disturbance. And this seedling here, you can actually just leave that on the ground to decompose. As long as the roots are exposed to the air, they will dry out. This will not re-root. Or if you want, you can toss it onto a tarp, let it completely dry out, and compost it. But you can just leave that right there. Now there's control of small Chinese privet seedlings.